<sighs> this sucks. <laughs> The more time that goes on, the more that I feel like just losing it. And the more time that goes on, the more people just seem to not be around. And you know, it's not like I don't meet people because I do. It's that those People that I meet, no one ever... is consistently... <laughs> here for me. I don't even trust anybody enough to be that, like that anymore. Because everybody keeps letting me down. And every time... I think... I've made a friend or whatever. I just get left out of everything. I'm not prioritized ever. 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 Like, I just feel like I end up being... This person that people hang out with when they don't have anybody else to hang out with. Or I feel like that person that people like to come and visit when they just want to see a little bit into my weird world or whatever. When they have the energy for it. It's not like people don't show up sometimes. It's just that no one really... Is here for me physically and emotionally. Like they're not here to be able to help me in my life I just need someone to get it to truly understand like oh God. sorry about that you she's jumping all over inflatables probably gonna pop stuff and I'm sorry I probably fight just don't even care. And none of this video is not going to get monetized already. I'm just going to say that all right. Um, and heading into this section, we're just going to, like, major trigger warning everything. Um, so, I've been self-harming again. I am seeing things for sure, seeing stuff. Um, I don't want to talk to my doctor about it yet because I don't. <sighs> Cat. I don't want to go to the hospital yet. I don't want to go there yet. I've already been there, like, so many times. You have no idea how many times. So many. My whole life. And I just... I'm tired. I'm tired of doing this, carrying this weight. And it seems like every time when everything gets really rough, the people that I count on the most always seem to just disappear anyways. Like, they might be there all the way up until the lead up, like, get through a lot of tough stuff with me. But when shit really hits the fan, when I really need a friend... If people don't leave then, they leave really quickly after. And I don't have a lot of people checking up on me in my personal life that genuinely care. And how am I supposed to? My brain is going away. It's getting so jumbled and 
It's not. <sighs> the diagnosed me with so many things. <laughs> when I was like 17, they had me diagnosed as paranoid schizophrenic. And honest to God, I don't know. Maybe who knows who was right about what anymore. But all I know is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what diagnosis they try and give me, what kind of bullshit fucking excuse they try and give me for just being like this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because I'm still sitting here. A broken brain, a broken body. The doctors have only given me there's a teenager that gave me all the drugs, so here I am. <sighs> now I'm afraid of all of their antipsychotics, and so if I even went to the hospital, I wouldn't even be taking any of their antipsychotics because I don't want to take any of them. So that leaves me where? This is where it leaves me. This is where it leaves me. So many pretty colors, right? It can't be that bad. I just... And this is what I'm willing to share with people. I don't even know why I'm gonna post this. I don't even know why I'm gonna... I guess it. I don't even know. I don't have any other way to deal with my life, apparently. I just can't handle my brain being like this. And I'll be fucking honest with you. Sometimes, even though she was not a great person for anything to go, I couldn't even go to her for money, really. I just, I just wish I had a mom to go to. I just wish my mom was like, I just want somebody stable in my life so that I don't have to do this alone but everyone around me is all more chaos even than I am I think and that scares me because like you shouldn't be that far out if you... these are the normal people Normal is a setting on a washing machine. <laughs> Stupid joke. Counselor told it to me once. Anyways, I'm gonna cut this short before the video cuts out for any reason because I don't even want to. I just can't. But I don't even know why I'm just venting like this. I just wish that something was different. If I ever just disappear, it's probably just the hospital. You know? Um, I'm trying to put it off for as long as possible, but. It's my life. I'm in and out. It's really, really hard. I am trying so hard. But I am having some serious issues. I am seeing things. I am hearing things. And I'm hurting myself. My brain is a mess. I am a mess. And I'm trying to embrace it for as long as I can before I end up in the hospital for however long. I don't want that. I don't want that. So. Anyways. <sighs> well, love you guys. Love all y'all. I'm sorry I'm so broken. I'm just really sorry I'm so broken. Just leave me a comment if you made it to the end of the video. Just let me know. It, it, it helps to know that people care. 
So thanks for caring. It's like a life raft. It really is. So. I'm trying not to give up on me, ball y'all, y'all, not giving up on me. And this little kitten is helping keep me out of the hospital, too. But if my videos are inconsistent, if all of my content, everything is inconsistent everywhere, anywhere, on any of my platforms, it's because I am very seriously mentally ill. And it should not be so stigmatized for me to be able to say it. I am very seriously mentally ill. And I have been for a long time. I just sometimes hide it a little bit okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna cut this video out before it does it itself. And like I said, just let me know if you made it this far in the video, because I don't even know why I'm bothering recording this. I just don't have anyone to talk to, so yay! Lucky you! Thanks for being my friend. Thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Sending you a lot of love and hugs, okay?